point is that I was listed as, I was named this idealistic, young, optimistic kid that's going on now. Well, I am more optimistic about America's chances to own the 21st century than ever have been in my entire life. I really am. As time, as time I remember, who knew I listened to the United States of America? We're working around our heads down, like, woe is me, what are we going to do? We had more great research universities in America than all the rest of the world combined. And every major fundamental idea of life changes come out of those universities, and you own them. It gets monetized by corporate American entrepreneurs, which is not a bad thing. But we own them. Secondly, we have the most, we have the most incredible, incredible productive workers. There are three times as productive as workers in Asia. It's a fact. It's a reality. We're in a position where we are able to compete in ways that no other country can. I think the gentleman talked about China. Look, they said Biden is not worried about China. I'm not worried about China if we invest. China, I, I've spent more time with Xi Jinping, the leader of China, than any world leader had prior to my leaving the vice presidency. And the reason for that is he was the vice president. Barack Obama wanted to get to know him. It was not appropriate for him to spend the time. So I spent time with him, traveling 17,000 miles here and in China with him. And I tell you what, the guy's no Democrat with a small d, but he's not stupid. He would change place to heartbeat with the President of the United States for the problem we have. I've met every major world leader. I've not met a single one who wouldn't trade places with the President of the United States of America that no matter what country they're from. This is a guy who has a million people in prison, Muslims, in the mountains, in the West. This is a guy who has Hong Kong falling apart. This is a guy who more people are gonna die of cancer in the tw from, 19, from 2020 to 2030 than all the rest of the world combined. They don't have, 40% of the land is polluted with cadmium. It's not produced, it's not able to produce product. They have, they're spending hundreds of billions of dollars trying to turn around their rivers because a lot of their people don't have potable water to drink. Folks, the idea that they're going to own the United States if we invest in our people is crazy. We, we're going to, and I, I don't want to hurt China. I'm not looking for, for China. China can be a competitor. He asked me, why do I keep talking to us about Xi Jinping? Why do I see, keep saying we're a Pacific power? I said, because we are a Pacific power. And that's the only reason you've had any stability is we're a Pacific power. And he said, you're right. He acknowledged it. The point is, there's so much we can do. Look, look, last thing I'll make on, on this point. I headed up the cancer moonshot. My passion is to make sure that we, in fact, are able to deal with human rights. And it will. We have the best minds in the world here in the United States of America. If we invest if we invest like they do in the Defense Department, which I support, it's called DARPA, which is the defense application, you know, all, all the thing with geopositioning and, and all, all the things that occur that the military needs, well, the, including the internet, that came out of this, this separate agency. I'm gonna set up an agency at the Health Department called ARPA-H, meaning there's gonna be applied sciences in the Department of Health, and we're gonna invest we're going to invest $50 billion in cures for cancer, diabetes, and Alzheimer's. <laughs> we can do these things. So, folks, come around with Let's remember, we're walking around with our heads. Remember who we are. This is the United States of America. There's not a single thing we cannot do if we set our mind to it. All things standing away is Donald Trump, and it's time to end it. Let's take back this country and take it back now. This is the United States of America. Thank you, thank you, thank you.